today we are going to discuss regarding one of the basic neuroendocrine reflex and this particular reflex is closely connected with the emotions of human beings so whenever if we are talking regarding the emotions the first person who will come in our mind that is our mother so here this reflex is closely related to mother and child that is none other than milk ejection reflex or milk letting reflex so today in this video we are going to exactly discuss regarding what is the stimuli of this reflex and who is maintaining this reflex who is the main reason behind the reflex and how they are emotionally connected okay so let us see in detail so here first comes the stimulus for the reflex the stimulus mainly depends on the mother's sensations and emotions over the baby so mainly if the baby is sucking that will stimulate and if the mother is hearing the baby crying hearing even then sometimes even thinking about baby and sometimes seeing the baby mother used to get stimulated because of the reflex and some and there are few condition where we can see the inhibition of milk also that is mainly when the mother is going through severe pain or any type of emotional upset that may inhibit the reflex because of any type of stimulus mentioned here this directly go and stimulate two different nucleus in the hypothalamus that is paraventricular nuclei and supra optic nuclei so this is our hypothalamus and this is our anterior pituitary and this is our posterior pituitary so here as i had told it will directly stimulate the paraventricular nuclei and supra optic nuclei in the hypothalamus so here what happens because of the stimulus received by the paraventricular nuclei and supra optic nuclei it will directly stimulate the release of a hormone it is not secretion of a hormone it is a release of hormone from the posterior pituitary and the hormone is none other than oxytocin which is maintaining the whole reflex in a proper way okay so oxytocin here are few points to discuss regarding oxytocin this oxytocin is completely secreted by both of these nuclei and mainly by paraventricular nuclei and they are situated in the hypothalamus and what happens this hormone will be getting stored in the posterior pituitary nerve endings in the nerve endings of posterior pituitary so once they are receiving the stimuli that stimuli will lead to release of the hormone from the posterior pituitary nerve endings so now this enzyme had been released in the blood so here this is the basic structure of human breast and this forms the nipple area and then these were the ducts which will carry the milk and here at last comes the alveoli where secretion and storage of milk happens so let's see the magnified structure of the alveoli so this is the magnified structure and here we have to note two things this outer layer is made up of muscle cells which were of epithelial and then 
these blue color cells were none other than and here I would like to mention one important thing regarding this. This muscle cells were truly governed by our hormone oxytocin and this milk secreting cells were completely governed by the hormone prolactin. Okay, so this prolactin is from anterior pituitary. We will discuss later regarding this. Now we are discussing only regarding the milk ejection. How milk ejection is happening. So clearly all the milk had been secreted here and stored here in the alveoli. So what happens here? Our oxytocin which was released in the blood will go directly towards the muscle cell and causes the contraction of the muscular cells. So because of the contraction, the milk which was stored inside the alveoli gets released into the duct and finally it reaches the nipple. And this is how milk ejection is happening. Okay. So this is all regarding how milk ejection is happening and uh, who is mainly responsible that is none other than the oxytocin which was released by hypothalamus and secreted into the blood through the posterior pituitary nerve endings and this is all regarding it and if you have any topics for suggestion kindly mention in the comment below thank you so much and happy learning with us